Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hamster haul from Pets at Home and Tesco's. So let's get started then. Here are the things I got from Pets at Home. First we have this adorable strawberry hideout. I got this because it is just so cute. This was £3.50. Next we've got small carrot knullers, two pack, um, for £1.50. As you can see, he didn't really chew on the red one, so I used it as a step, which I'll show you what I mean now. Right, so he used to jump off the top here, down to there. So I put that there to try and get him to jump onto that. And he actually does, he jumps off here, onto that, and then onto the orange one and jumps down. But I only put that there because it's quite like far for him to jump. And I didn't want him to hurt himself. Before anyone starts having a go saying that the cage is dirty, yes, I know the cage is dirty. It's due for a clean this week. I'll probably do it today because it's quite dirty. But we're in the middle of a little box training him down there. But he still does it up here and there. So hopefully that will work. We also have this fruit and mineral snack for small animals. This was £2. I got this because I was going for a fruit and veg themed in my cage. So I thought this was quite cute and it would go with the fruit themed. This is also a small. While we're talking about mineral licks, I also got this big mineral stone for £2. I only put this in the cage when we are playing together. But he doesn't really eat it or lick it. He just climbs on it. So... Yeah, that's the mineral look. Inside it looks like it's basically just looks like a bar of soap. And for you to read it, it says let me focus it. It's got excellent, excellent um, calcium source. It trims down the teeth and contains salt and trace minerals. And if you want to read the bit on the top, you can pause it. Let's focus. Pause it and you can read it if you want. Okay. So moving on, I bought both of these ceramic apple dishes. I thought these were quite cute and they go with the fruit themed anyway. Um, these were £3 each from Pets at Home. So. And yeah, as you can see, the green one's empty, but that one's not. Because I used that one to put his fruit in, his apples and stuff, but he's already ate his apples this week. So yeah, seeing as we're talking about food and food dishes, um, I had this um, food here, the hamster muesli. Um, and I kind of ran out as you could see so I went to Pets at Home this morning it was actually and I bought another one because this is exactly the same as the other hamster usually and because I need to introduce um, the new food over a period of 10 days I had to go and buy some more so I could introduce it here's the back you can Pause it and just read it. And yeah, that's the pets at home. That one is. This one was two pound fifty, I think. Um. Then I bought some Tesco's hamster muesli, which I need to introduce over ten days. Um. This was five pounds or four pound ninety nine. Practically the same, but different brand. Here's the back. Um, yeah, it's um, for hamsters, mice, gerbils. Yeah. As you can see, I do have quite a lot of treats. Um, first thing I got was these two. Um, that first one's hearty nibbles. Pick a mix, um, crunchy oven baked snacks. A lot of these are quite cute, they look like. Um, a minute. Let me get one off. These are quite cute. So, yeah. 
if you want to read the ingredients. These aren't really meant to be, these are only meant to be for hamsters over the age of um, eight months and they're not suitable for chinchillas and dagoos and ferrets. But even though my hamster's only four months old, I still gave him these because I just thought it was because they're too big. So I just um, snap them up like that and then give them little ones. Um, I also got some, because they were two for like four pounds, I think it was. Pick and mix carrot bites. These are also quite good to go with the steam, the fruit and veg steam. They look just like um, that. I these were also I also snapped these. I can give them to him. Um yeah, so that's pick and mix carrot bites, crunchy oven baked snacks. Okay. Um, next up, I got these ones from Tesco, so I have opened these, all, the, all of these, by the way. The, I've heard quite good things about these, Harry Hamster. So these are Yippies um, with apple and sweet corn. These are only £1.50 from Tesco, so I thought this was quite big, cause the, considering the bag came up to here. I thought that was quite a good deal. So that's the treats, well, apart from them. So next up is this... Um, Everyday Value Large Soft Bedding from Tesco's. Um, this was six pounds, I think. And as you can see, it is quite big, but it is suitable for hamsters. So that's the bedding he's on right now. It is quite good. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it's in there. It's not that big. But I have got that mixed with small bedding, which we finished. That's the bedding. Next up we've got some small safe pet bedding, which is for his nesting material. It's from Pets at Home. I got this one as a sample pack, so I'm not quite sure how much this is. I would um, say probably £3. And then there's little cute sayings on it saying, just call me Sleeping Beauty. And yeah, and I'm Prince Charmings. But... This is quite good as well. He uses this for nesting in the strawberry house, but he took it all out and he's put it in that house down there. It's all coming out because he's put too much in. But that is quite good for the val for probably the value of it. But I don't know how much it costs. Next up, I bought this kooky hamster toilet thing for him because I was going to potty train him, and it came with. The actual potty training thing, some litter and um, a spoon, like they go up a thing. Um, yes, he is being potty trained. This was six pounds, I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, and he is sort of using it, as you can see. Um, this is the litter that it comes with. It's just like grainy sand and a spoon thing that we use. If you want to have a look on the side of the box, it says here what it comes with. With litter. I got mine in yellow colour, by the way. You can get them in different colours. So the English. Let me put it down. Focus. Okay, that's what it is. Anything on that side, just to try that. Um, these are the colours it comes in. It also comes in a yellow, which I have. But yeah, I think that was quite good for it. From that was from Pets at Home as well. Next up, I didn't buy this. I just found this at my house. But I'm using this as like a little playpen thing. So when I'm cleaning out his cage, I just pop him in here, and he runs around in it. And he likes these. These are really good for him. I'll do a little thing on them in a minute. Just like um, woodland um, ignoring sticks, but that's that little box thing there for you. These are probably just like 99p down at the store, so yeah. So, next up, we have these um, woodlands natural goodness for, for, for our furry friends willow sticks. Um, willow sticks are perfect for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, and ferrets. It also says here, 
There you go. And as you can um, see, I have to, I have used some of these. These were two pounds, and they were from Pets at Home. Um. I'll fix that back on in a minute. This is just one that I've took out of his cage. He does like to chew on these. Um, I think they're very good. And they're all natural, so he isn't going to get, like, poisoned or anything. But, yeah, these are a really good deal because you get one, two in the other box. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 of these in a pack so yeah that's quite a good deal if you think that's going to last you like it depends how much of a chewy your hamster is you come with thin ones and then you've got the really fat ones so yeah that's the woodlands willow sticks next up i have this little house like a little cottage thing that this came with the actual cage I got two I think you're only meant to get one with it but I got two um this is quite cute and it the roof does come off um I took this one out of his cage because he was just climbing on it and trying to get out so yeah that's just some simple soft wood bedding and some toilet paper and a bit of wood shavings in there for him. So that's the little cottage type thing. I'm not sure how much these would be separately. I don't think they sell them separately. But that's from the with the cage from Pets at Home. Um, so that's that one. I'll show you the other one in a minute. So I'm going to have to be, have to be quite quick in this little house because he's still in here and if he comes out, then he can get out of this box. But... This is just like another little house Ooh. that comes with it. Um, he sleeps in this one most often. He's got his food hoard in it and everything. Oh, he's coming out now. So, oh, you're just going to lie your head there. Hello. My name's Bushka and I am a Syrian hamster. Hello, Bushka. Wiggy, wiggy. Can we say hi to the camera? Can we say hi to the camera? Okay, right, you're gonna have to go back in your house now. No, Buster. Come on. Back into your house. No, don't go. Buster, no. I'm gonna have to put the camera off now. Next up, I've got his cage to show. This is a £50 cage from Pets at Home. Sorry about the drilling in the back. We've got builders at our house. Um, this cage came with the ramp and the ramp there. The wheel, that house and the other house. Um, this tube that connects at the top there. I'm not sure if you can see the little hole. Comes out through here. And see if that one... I'll just show you. Down to the bottom there. Um, it also came with both platforms. That one there, this platform here. It came with um, the water bottle down the side there. And a food dish. Why are you flicking all your bed now? Hey? Quick, better be quick getting a food dish just so. Just not trying to see. And this food dish, but. It's got like, I think it might be like a little ramp so they can go up it into the food dish. But as you can see, I got that food dish and that food dish up there. Because I thought they were like better. Because if you have ceramic dishes, they don't tip over as easily. Um, so that's it really on the cage. Also comes with this nice locking system so you twist them. And even if your hamster does jump up here, there's like a little plastic, I'll open it up so you can see it. It's like a little 
plastic rim going around. So if he does climb onto that bit and you t and you've locked them, he can't go unlocking them because that will be going over there. So he won't be able to climb up and unlock them. So that's quite good as well. Um, he also has. I won't be able to show you because otherwise he'll escape. But it's he's like lockable thing so if you take that one and the one on the other side off and you can lift up this plastic bit and get that bit off um, there are also these ones here on the bottom so if you unlock that they're quite hard so the hamster won't be able to unlock them i can't get that back on i'll do that in a minute so you can take off this whole my wire bit and the bit on top so you just be left with the bottom um but they are quite strong as you can see just let me put my camera down as you can see I'm struggling to get up in there I just stop and do it okay so in this cage I also have some of these um, at the bottom I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it properly if he comes out now he's going to bite my arm down there, there's like a little cardboard tube thing. And there's another one in the corner, but that's a minute. Let me scrape that. Like right down there. This little tiny one. I've also got some spare ones in my thing, but he's too fat to sit in the tube, so he goes in and he gets stuck. But this is an overview of the cage so yeah I highly recommend this I have the little this on the back thing it comes off easily like a minute there we go and because it's got like a little hook on the back you can hook it onto the cages like so then it's got these large plastic hamster home Um with includes a wheel, la house, food bowl, bottle, platforms, ladders and tubes. But for fifty pounds at Pet's Home I think that cage is quite a good deal, but I'm swapping it to get a glass tank type thing. So yeah, hope you enjoy. If you want any other videos to be requested just write them down down below in the comments. And I will try and do them if you want me to. Thank you. Bye.